So full moons reveal, right, that something is being illuminated, something is being uncovered, something is being revealed. And that is true of full moons as the full light of the sun is reflected by the moon in its fullness. Of course, the light of the sun is always being reflected off of the moon. It's just that where we are on Earth, we don't always see the fully illuminated side of the moon. So when the moon is full, we see the fully illuminated light side, bright side of the moon. So uh, that is where we are at. And the, I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Monday, November 27th. And we are uh, having a Gemini full moon. So we're going to talk today about what that Gemini full moon reveals and how it can give us some deeper insight into our current process and how to best engage with that for self-care and more, right? For being better people, being better at uh, who, being who we are, right? Being in our wholeness and our truth. So. Of course, with the energy of something being illuminated that happens at every full moon, this full moon is revealing something about what we've been working on in recent weeks. So especially on um, what we began the current moon cycle um, with the new moon in Scorpio and that uh, that theme, that quality for this particular moon sign is um, that Scorpio transformation. So there is a feeling of descent into the underworld, that sort of metaphorical death and rebirth process as we let go of the past, um, we release attachments, we release what we have been um, in order to be reborn into something that uh, ideally is what is more authentic, right? More true to who we are, more in our wholeness. And so those things that you feel deep in your gut calling you forward, um, that the things that um, make you feel alive, that bring passion into your life, that make you feel creative, inspired, joyful, excited, um, right? Excited for the day to begin because you are excited about what you are doing. And um, each day, uh, brings another opportunity to create through our choices, our actions, our ways of being, right? And and so each day you are working, you are working on the work of being alive, right? That it is what it means to engage with the world. And where we want to be is not engaging with the world. Um, in a way where we're just struggling from day to day and just trying to barely keep our heads above water, but we want to be continuing to move in that direction where we are feeling more joy, more freedom, more wholeness, and that is the place where our creativity um, comes from. So, so creativity allows us to create. It allows us to bring in something new, something more beautiful, something uh, something beautiful or more beautiful, right? Something that uh, we haven't experienced before that could be a solution to an old problem. It could be a way of being in the world that allows us to be um, uh, solving old problems or doing things differently in a way that is more functional, more sustainable, more loving, more connected, more nurturing, whatever it is. So, um, so this Gemini full moon is revealing something about this deeper process, this scorpionic process about how we transform, about what we're letting go of, what we're stepping into in terms of how we imagine or connect with, with that, that life force energy, that feeling of, of passion and creativity that drives us um, forward. And so at this 
so think about it connected to the seasons as well. So uh, we're in the Scorpio season, right? Where, where we're letting go of the creativity of the summertime, right? And the fruition of the things we planted and the harvest and that feeling of abundance. And so following that, we have this Scorpio season when the sun is in Scorpio, the new moon is in Scorpio because the sun is in Scorpio. And with that uh, Scorpio energy, we, we have that like the leaves falling from the trees to um, compost and turn into soil and get ready for, you know, the, the next season with the new growth and the new possibility. So, so we're at that phase for ourselves and letting go of what we have um, been, what we've been doing, what we've been focused on, what we've been thinking about. And, and not only what, but also how, right? Letting go of some of the ways we have thought about things or approach things or some of the beliefs that we have about the way things are or need to be, right? So, so in that scorpionic death process, that metaphorical story of death, we are also letting go of who we've been and how we've thought about things. And then um, that is making the way for these stirrings, right? We're not, it's not, we're, we haven't finished winter yet. In fact, <laughs> we haven't even begun winter yet, right? We're still in fall. So, um, so we're really entering into this darker, colder time when we hibernate, when we um, have sort of let go of some of the expressions of the previous seasons. So, uh, so we, but we can start to, as we have the leaves falling from the trees and starting to compost and there's starting to be a snap in the air and uh, we're, we're starting to hunker down a little bit and have less light. I'm, this is of course in the Northern hemisphere, but that's where this Western astrology system that we use um, is based in symbolically. So, Okay, so where am I going with this? Okay, Scorpio, <laughs> Scorpio is, we're not yet in the place of moving forward. We are not ready to embody. We're not ready for the rebirth. What we're doing is we are, we're, uh, um, uh, what's, we're conceiving, right? We're starting that process of, um, the dream and the dream that is uh, going to eventually either manifest or not, right? The 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 conception, the um, the fertilization, right? That happens before the birth, and so not all ideas that get fertilized eventually, you know, get born, right? But but some of them do. So it, this is the time of the year and the this particular moon cycle when we want to be thinking about um, what gives meaning to our lives, what feels important, what feels true, what feels powerful, what do we feel passionate about, and just tuning in with that feeling because that is what we are giving our um, energy to in terms of fertilizing the future. So, okay, so now that is the moon cycle that we're in. Now we bring it into the Gemini full moon. The sun has gone into Sagittarius. We've moved from the Scorpio sun, the, Scor the Scorpio month, right? That time of year. And we've now moved into Sagittarius sun. And the Sagittarius sun is starting to reflect on that deeper transformational process, you know, uh, thinking about bigger picture, what is the story, how do we describe it, how do we understand it, make sense of it. And um, yesterday's video, November 26th, I gave you some insight into this particular full moon and what it means, right? So I won't, I won't rehash that. You can definitely watch yesterday's video for more on that. But I'm hopefully adding to what I said yesterday and saying... Um, so, so with that bigger picture of meaning, we have the energy of the Gemini full moon. So Gemini is um, energetically about 
processing information, curiosity, how our minds work, how we solve problems in the here and now, the everyday. And so it is the energy of seeking information and learning new things and reading about things and um, maybe writing out some brainstorming lists or doing some journaling because putting things into words is going to help you connect with what it is you're fertilizing and how you are setting this um putting in motion this, these deeper stirrings of life that have not yet emerged. And so you're connecting with the vibration of what it is you're wanting to create, what it feels like. Again, not having, I mean, you might have an imagination, a vision <laughs> about what it will look like, but the point is not to be too attached to that vision or to it manifesting in a, in a particular form rather to really connect with this deeper place of what is being planted, what is being fertilized, what is being conceived. So, okay, so Gemini um, coming into this moon cycle is bringing us into this, um, this energy of being the investigator. Uh, and so as we let go of our attachments, um, it's a perfect time to seek information. So thinking about how, um, and I love this image for Gemini, um, is that if you have a bee, a honeybee, right? Some of you who follow me might have heard me say this before, but honeybee in a field of colorful flowers, right? And so that honeybee is like, Ooh, you know, let's go over here. Some oh, something red caught my eye over here. Let me go check that out. And and so there's this sense of dabbling, of trying things, of exploring, experimenting, playing with ideas, playing with possibilities, but not being attached to anything. You know, it's like that that shiny object that might catch your eye is worth going and spending some time with. It might be something you want to look into or learn about. It's not necessarily the end all be all, right? It's it's part of the journey. And so along the journey, you are having experiences, you are connecting with different things that kind of uh, wake your mind up in different ways. And so let yourself be curious on this Gemini full moon and it will reveal something to you about what you are becoming, how you are changing, what you are potentially giving birth to in the future. And so again, you know, let with the spirit of lightness, of letting go, of not being too attached, allowing yourself to transform, but also connecting with that feeling of what is driving you, what feels um, meaningful, juicy, you know, what, what you feel in your gut, what, what kind of feels like it is feeding your dreams. And as you then have are being guided by that deeper truth you can explore and experiment with possibilities and it's a great time to you know again put things on paper just write it out get it out some ideas might come through don't be too attached to them they are not necessarily the ultimate or the answer they are more like a step on the journey that is going to help you to unfold in the ways you need to, to be in alignment with what you are here to do and create and be. So there you go. Um, that's what I've got for today's Gemini full moon. And technically, um, the, the moon is full exact uh, at 1.16 a.m., I believe, um, my time. So I'm on Pacific time, west coast of the United States, like uh, cities like Los Angeles. Um, and then uh, so at that so it's really like the night before we wake up, depending on where you are. Um, if you're in Europe, it'll be in the morning, exact uh, in the morning on Monday. Um, but the point is that the full moon is um, exact. And then we are basking in that energy, especially as we head into 
um, this night as we uh, hopefully you sleep and connect with your dreams. Sometimes full moons can be a little bit agitating. It might be hard to rest um, deeply, but if you find yourself um, uh, awake, <laughs> might be a good time to jot down some things or some things, you know, Hey, I want to come back to this. I want to look into this. I want to think about it. So, um, let your, uh, mind be playful. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms and I'm here every day with astrology for unshakable self-care. Um, thank you for subscribing. It's a great time to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you to those of you who have been sharing thoughts and comments and feedback. Uh, let me know what you like, what you want to hear more of on this channel. And I love questions. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. So jot those down in the comments. Great topic or a great thing to do on a Gemini full moon, right? Jot down your questions. Um, so that's a, a good thing that we can uh, follow in terms of our ideas. And uh, you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. I do have a, um, a package offer right now. A great deal. It's going to be going away at the end of the year. So definitely go um, check it out. Uh, it's five sessions working with me one on one. Um, and uh, it's a it's a just a great way to dive deep into your own natal chart and uh, your own cr creative, passionate, truthful, whole wholeness life process. So check it out, astrologyheals.com. And I will be back here tomorrow. Um, and we'll, we'll just continue this journey together. All right, thanks. And I'll see you next time.